Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, Saints, on this uh, snowy Wednesday morning. Here we are, enjoying what is officially winter. So, uh, let's go for a walk. Bundled right up. Good morning. How are you? Oh, fine. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah, nice it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very little snow though, which is good, but Why not? Yeah, yeah. Easy for, Easy for you. There you go. Yeah, yeah, true. I do not know where the ice is underneath this little tiny layer of snow that we had overnight. So I'm walking very carefully. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to find ice. I know there's ice right there, but I ain't heading that way. Burr, it's cold out here. She thought it was warm. I think it's cold. Well, well, well. Another beautiful morning. So, I guess we probably all are at the point where we are reflecting on the year that has been and wondering what in the world 2021 is holding for us. We don't know. But for those of us who know the Lord, and trust him, we're okay with that. I am anyways. My life is in his hands, and uh, that's a good place to be. That's a good place to be. But, in reflecting on 2020, there has been a lot of darkness, a lot of division, a lot of bitterness, a lot of hatred, a lot of... It's been a tough year for a lot of people, not just with the pandemic, but with everything that is tied in with that. Differences of opinion, and sometimes it's brutal. It's like, there's a lot of darkness. There just really is a lot of darkness out in the world right now. And I was pondering that, just thinking about that yesterday, and then last evening, I was uh, sitting in a quiet place, and I was thinking about how dark this world really has been this year in a lot of ways. And I was thinking about this morning and how can I how can I speak into that? Of course I turn to the word of God. And the ultimate answer is right here in John chapter 8 verse 12. Jesus spoke again to the people and he said, "I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me, not just knows about me, but whoever actually follows me, that is believe, surrender, submit, dedicated to, whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right. Follow Jesus. Follow Follow his way, follow his word, follow his the moving of his spirit. Following isn't just, I know about him and I go to church or I listen to church on Sunday morning on TV. No, it's a lot more than that. It's a, it's a daily walking, following him. I think about, you know, when I'm driving in a caravan with other vehicles, a uh, group of vehicles, man, when you follow the other one or on a motorbike and you're following, it's, it's, Every turn, every move, every stop, every slowdown, every speed up, it's you are shadowing that vehicle in front of you the whole time. And well, follow Jesus, man. We shadow him. We shadow him. And he says, Whoever does that will never walk in darkness. No, duh. Because he is the light of the world. And if we're shadowing him, then we're walking in the light because he is the light. 
And then he takes it, uh, scriptures take it a little bit further in Philippians chapter 2, verse 15. Talks here, and I'm just, you can read the whole context, Philippians chapter 2, fantastic chapter, by the way. But uh, he says that if we do everything without grumbling and arguing, so that we may be blameless and pure, children of God, without fault, in a warped and crooked generation. Let me stop there for a second. <laughs> if we do everything without grumbling and arguing. Well, friends, if we are following Jesus, if we are in the shadow of Almighty God, literally shadowing God in everything, then why would we be grumbling and arguing? That doesn't make any sense, does it? If you're not shadowing God, yeah, you got a lot to grumble about and to complain about and to... Whoa. Do everything without grumbling and arguing so that you may become blameless and pure, children of God without fault in a warped and crooked general boy is it ever. Then you will shine among them. Among what? The warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. Yes, we will shine, because when you are in the shadow of Almighty, guess what? You will reflect His light. Get it? We follow right behind Jesus. We follow closely. And as we do, not only do we benefit from the beauty and the clarity and the positivity and the hopefulness and the joy and the promises of being in the light. But also we reflect to the dark and warped and crooked generation around us. We reflect the light of who he is. We reflect Jesus to the world around us. So friends, our call today is to get reflecting. Clean off that mirror so that you can clearly reflect Jesus. Let's do that today. Father, help us. Help us to shut out the darkness. Help us to walk away from the darkness. Help us not to be a part of the darkness, but instead to follow Jesus closely so that we might shine the light of His glory, His power, His joy, His hope to this dark, and crooked, and warped generation around us. This world needs light now more than ever because we are walking in very dark times. And we know the source of light. We know He who is the light. So, Father, might I walk closely to Jesus today that I might clearly reflect Him to the world around me. I pray all of this with thanksgiving in Jesus' beautiful name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you richly.